a morning. All right, I'm going to need some serious help today because I was just in my closet having a complete breakdown. And I, I'm having one of those days where I don't like anything in my closet. And I, I have to go film one more, one more video for Doc Martens. And I'm like, I have nothing. I have nothing, nothing, nothing in my closet. And here's the thing. And here's why I'm, I'm, I'm mentioning it. And here's what we're going to start off with. It's because I know I have cute things in my closet. All right. I 100% know I have cute clothes. Here's where the problem lies. It's like, I know I have cute clothes, but what am I telling myself? Why am I being so disruptive today um, that I'm not allowing myself to like anything I put on? So I am sharing this with you and you're going to have to help me figure out what I'm going to wear because I... I, I have deadlines, I have things I got to do, and I have to do them. And there's no excuse. None, none, none. So happy, I was going to say happy Monday, but it's not Monday. It's Wednesday. And good morning. Oh, my goodness. Oh, and then also, too, here's the kicker, is I was sitting there, and I was like, oh, I was going to, um, I, I, I was going to, buzz my hair today on the live and then I'm like Lonnie you can't do that you have to go out and make a video you can't go out and make a video with a bunch of little hair pieces all over your face so I'd like to apologize right now that I'm going to be buzzing my hair tomorrow because I cannot deal with little hair puddle hair particles in the kind of mood I'm in today all right Tiggy Lauren Tiggy says I just got a bunch of cute stuff from Harla I'm so excited to wear it Ooh, very cool so let me show you. I'm going to show you right now what I'm wearing. And you have to remember, I'm going to be, I'm going to be filming, um, I'm going to be filming some stuff for Doc Martens. So of course I have my Doc Martens on. Of course it's super hot today because every time I do a campaign for them, it seems like I do it in the middle of summer, which is fine. I don't, I'm not complaining, Doc Martens. Don't even think, don't even think for a moment there that I'm complaining but it's, it gets a little challenging because it's like, it's hot outside and I don't want to put on a whole lot of clothes. So let me start off with what I had envisioned in my mind was the Osaka jeans that I'm wearing with my Doc Martens. And then I was going to wear my denim top that I got from Zara, but it just, it didn't, it didn't feel right. I, I felt like I was trying to be, um, a poser if that makes any sense because I'm trying really hard to stay very authentic to myself and to my um and to my just general aesthetic so I have on my Osaka jeans which I absolutely love I have on my Doc Martens and then I just have on this black um are you wearing a nice flowy dress or something like that you know I was thinking because I want to really keep it very true to my style. And, um, and I just, I'm trying to think if I have a dress that would absolutely fit. I wore a dress last year, but the problem is, is that I liked my outfit so much yesterday. Everything that I put on is like, because I loved my outfit so much. Hold on. Let me, let me show you what I have on. I mean, it's just a, my black tank with some black pants and my black boots. I was thinking like I could accessorize it with like maybe my blue aviator glasses and then um, like a bag or something. Not like a trash bag, but like, I don't know, maybe I could do, I'm trying to think like, like one of my thrifted leather crossbody bags or something. Because here's the thing, and here's 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 what's really getting me. It's I because I told you yesterday that I'm doing this campaign for them, and I'm absolutely am so honored to be doing this. And I did it last year. Last year I did um, a campaign for them, and I went into it with kind of just like the whole like 
what like an imposter syndrome, I guess you could kind of say, because I was looking at it more. Um, yeah. Now, Lauren. It, so here's the thing is, is I was thinking about wearing this in a white, but I had a white tank on yesterday. And so since I had on a white tank with my suspenders, which I absolutely loved, I kind of wanted to do a different look. And here's what's here's what's really tripping me up is that I really, really, really want to make it so that you can make more if you want, or just take the rest. But I really want to make sure that it is true and authentic to myself because what I was thinking about doing, and here's what I think I might do, is I might, I'm going to probably ditch the Osaka jeans and I'm going to keep with a black tank, but I'm going to do a tighter black tank and I'm going to throw on some overalls. I've got some, some of my target overalls are super distressed and I can cuff them up a lot. Yeah, that's just what I'm going to do. See, I think that the overalls are going to be more overall my general style. So I would love your opinion. I'm thinking I'm going to switch out of this. I'm going to switch out of the all black. To me, it's just kind of like it. I could wear all back. Yes, I agree with you, Tiggy. Tiggy says you can wear the same thing you wore yesterday if you love it. See, I could, but I just don't want it. I don't want it to be completely the same because they're two different campaigns. They're two different ideas of I, ha I had to give them two different storyboards with two different ideas. And I just think it would do an injustice to be wearing the exact same thing. Because ultimately what I'm really trying to do is I'm trying to do a really, really good job. Um, <laughs> Kara, you crack me up. Do what you think. A bikini with Doc Martens. You know what? If I had shaved my legs this morning, I probably would do that. Oh my God, do you own white docs? That would look nice with the overalls. I do, but they I have to wear some I have to wear a specific pair of Doc Martens for the specific campaign. So and the really cool thing about a, a campaign like this is that they give you guidelines. They will give you exactly what you're supposed to do. And I have to submit my idea with everything and it has to be these 1460s that I'm wearing. These are the ones. Hold on. Those are the ones that I restored last week. And I'm going to tell you right now, um, I'm going to tell you right here, right now, these are the most comfortable pair of docs I own. I, I These are the first original 1460s that I've owned. And they are... Um, they are amazing. They are so comfortable. You need to show off that stomach tattoo. Kara, I got to tell you, I, um, I'm doing some intermittent fasting. And once I get that, I got to, I, I, truthfully, I have a fat roll. I have a roll right here in my stomach. And it's really funny because I showed on um, a short not too long ago, I showed my stomach and somebody in the kindest, nicest way was like, oh, do you have a scar on your stomach? And I'm like, no, sweetheart, that's a fat roll. So while I really do like my stomach tattoo, I think I'm going to, um, I'm going to shy away from that for that particular reason. But I'm really, really thinking, you know what I can do? Oh, that's what I was going to do. I, I have that high roll. Okay, let me show you. Let me just show you what I'm thinking. Because remember, I have the high roller jumper from Free People, which let me give you an idea of what I'm thinking. So let's go here and we're going to go, because I have new technology now, I can show you what I'm thinking. Free People high roller jumper. Because let me show you what I'm thinking here allow and we're gonna go here give me a minute all right so what do you think about this let me go here let me go here and then let me just go right here i'm so proud of myself so i'm 
thinking I'm going to wear my high roller jumper because I, I, I do have those Target overalls that are super distressed and I can wear those. But what I really want to do is I really want to just have that vibe of just feeling um, kind of vibey if that's even a word, but I, um, I can roll them up because, you know, I'm short, I'm only five foot two, but I'll roll them up a little bit and then they have, <gasps> okay, here's a thought. So what do you think if I roll them up and then I just wear my little bralette underneath and I don't wear that tank and it would be something sort of like, I can't not do it without a bralette. I, I mean, I don't want to be like, walking around trying to keep my girls in but I'm thinking like this little jumper with um with just either my bralette depending on my comfort level because I want to stay comfortable that's the whole thing it's all about the vibe and um either with just my bralette or a black tank that's a little bit tighter and then my um my 1460s and that rolled up. And then also too, what I can do is I can experiment around with a couple of necklaces and I can wear a necklace. So what do you think about that? What, what's your, what's your thoughts on that? So let's see. Um, Lauren says, okay, oh, says you need to show up. No, um, I'm watering my plants is too hot and the birds need a bath. Yeah, it's, it's, disgustingly hot. So I think that's what I'm going to do. Okay. I, I, I've made my executive decision and where I was getting hung up this morning and where it was just becoming just way too much is the simple fact that I had my mind so set on a particular pair of jeans that I wasn't allowing myself to think outside of the box and to find an outfit that was really comfortable with me. Because I'm going to tell you right now, a barrette sound, ooh, a bralette sounds good with the jewelry. There you go. I That is, um, sounds groovy. Tulip, hi, Tulip. Um, I think that that's what I'm going to do. You know, I've got like a really cute look little, um, I actually made a necklace when I was going to yoga. And so maybe I'll double that up and put that on. Yeah. We are good. And I have to tell you, it was like, Oh gosh, I knew I, I, I just had to throw something on because I could not, no matter how much Kara says I can do this, I had to have clothes on while I was doing my lives. And I was like, I just have to get to YouTube. I, they're going to help me. They're going to ground me and they're going to tell me um, what I need to do. So I think, perfect. Because yesterday, oh my gosh, yesterday, um, I want to tell you, why I want to tell you this, because it was so huge looking back at um, the video that I did a year ago compared to the video I did yesterday. And I say this all the time, and I just have to keep on saying it, and I'm going to continue to say it, but you really do need to find your true authentic self. You need to find the you that's inside you, and you need to let it out. Because I am absolutely 100% amazed at the difference of my energy between this year and last year. Last year, I did a, a fine job, but just looking at it, I wasn't being true and authentic to myself. And yesterday, I was like looking at it. Um, I, uh, Kara says, I have, I have had five abdominal surgeries and a um, and a pool with a bikini is calling my name right now. I think you should, sweetheart, you go for it. And I, you know what? And that's just the whole thing. It's, it's like, I don't mind showing my stomach. I'm just not going to do it right now on a campaign for Doc Martens. Don't worry about the scars anymore. You know what? I don't really worry. I worry more about my fat roll than I do scars. So, but I have one, it, it, it's, it's just, that's where I'm gaining my weight. And you know what? And it is what it is. I'm doing my intermittent fasting, but it's really hot where I'm at right now. And sometimes my little belly will go bloop and it, I'll get like a little sweat pocket <laughs> right there on my stomach. But anyway, so what I want to tell you is, is just that, no, I'm not like tooting my horn and I'm not being like, oh, I'm this or oh, I'm not. That's not what this is all about. What this is about is it's just, I was so amazed at just changing my hair 
changed my attitude about myself. And I could see the difference on the video I made. So this is your sign. This is your calling. If there is something in your aesthetic that you want to change or you want to do something, 100% you have to do it. You have to let that vision of you on the inside out, period, end of story. And it's so, so, so important. Kara says, this is the first day it hasn't rained in two days. Kara, you're in Florida, right? Because I know, have you seen those videos of like in Vermont? It is crazy the amount of flooding that they're getting. I mean, it's cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. So I, if you're out there, if you're in Vermont or anywhere near around there, please be safe. It is just, it's, it's crazy the extreme weathers that we are having these days. Now, um, what was I going to say? Ooh. I was going to buzz my hair and I'm going to do it tomorrow. I just apologize for not being able to do it today, but I couldn't do it today because I didn't want those little hair, spl hair splinters all over me. But I have a lot of people, they're always like, you know what, I want to buzz my hair, but I just don't, I I'm not ready to, or I can't. So what you need to do, um, what you need to do, and I thought about it this morning on a walk with Indy. It's if you're out there and you're like, I think I want to do it, but I'm not 100% sure. I want you to do this. I want you to pull your hair back completely from your face, whether you put it like in a headband or if you put it in a ponytail, whatever form or fashion you pull your hair back. I need you to do that. And then I need you to do it like that for a week. And if you like what you see every time you look in the mirror, then you need to buzz your hair because that's what is, that's what it's going to look like. And the reason I know that is because I, every morning before I buzzed my hair, every morning I would take one of those big banana clips and I would put all my hair on the top of my head and I'd put my makeup on and I'd be like, wow, this is really cool. I really like this. This looks great. And then I would take the banana clip out and all this hair would just fall into my face. And I'd be like, I don't like that as well. I don't like, I don't like what's looking back at me as well as what I liked when I didn't see the hair. And that's really what led me to making that decision is I could physically see the difference in me and I could physically like one version of me better than the other. So I just thought that it would be like a cool like little thing for you to do to kind of like get comfortable with the idea of buzzing your head, but just pull your hair back for a week. And if you like it, if you like the way your makeup looks, if you like the way everything is applied, then you know that it's time to do it. Um, Lauren says on my OMG, I bought some magic eyelashes to try on, I seen them on your prime wish, uh, prime wish list thing on your Amazon page. <gasps> oh, very cool. Yeah. We're going to be looking at my Amazon page in here. Just two seconds. And I got those, um, magnetic ones and those are super easy to use. Kara says it rains like that here every day. Humidity is a killer. Yeah. We're supposed to have thunderstorms over the weekend and I'm a complete, you know, if it has to be like 95 or over in order for me to turn on my air conditioner and about five o'clock this afternoon I'm going to be questioning my reasoning behind that but we have a really unique kind of like weather pattern to where it cools off I mean right now it's extremely comfortable and it's 80 degrees so I only have to suffer through like three hours four hours of extreme heat and then um, I will be fine for the day. Now, what was I going to say? 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 I'm not sure. All right, let's go ahead and look at some prime stuff. There you go. That's something we can always do. So I did do a... Um, <laughs> Diggy says that I've had the air on since March. Where are you located? Are you... Because I think you're in, are, okay, if I had to guess, I would say Texas, but I'm not 100% sure. Because I know that certain parts of the country are a whole lot hotter than we've been. We've had an amazingly cool knock, knock on fake wood summer. And I mean, it's July 12th and 
I have not had to turn my air on once, whereas last year was insane. We had the most insane heat wave last year, and I'm just, I, I'm really trying to avoid it because I know last year my electric bill for one month was like 600 bucks, and to me, that's a lot. Um, south of Houston, almost to Gal Galveston. See, I knew you were in Texas because I pay attention, and I remember you telling me. See, now, I think Texas heat is different than California heat. I think it's, I think you have more humidity, if I am correct, because geography is not my thing, but weather is. All right, so let's take a look here. If you know, or if you don't know, I'm actually a, an Amazon influencer. So I have my own little Amazon. Oh, wow, Tiggy, my daughter lives in Galveston. See, you guys are, you, you're almost, you're almost, like um, next to each other. Hello, Julie, how are you? Um, all right, so what am I doing? So I do have an Amazon page and I'm an Amazon influencer and I have had, I've had mixed luck with that. So let's just say that, but I am on a mission to make my little Amazon store thriving and I want it to be that way and I want it to, I want it, I want it to work. I like, I keep on saying, I'm just going to ramble, 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 ramble. And let's see here. Let's get to my little store because technology is awesome. We're going to go there. And I did find a lot of Murad products on, um, on sale for prime. And that's some of the things we're going to be taking a look at. <laughs> so here. Da, 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 da. Introducing my Amazon page. Now, I am an Amazon influencer, so anything that you purchase through clicking on that, I do get a commission. Now, here's the thing, y'all. If you click on my page and then you go shopping at Amazon and you get anything, no matter if it's in my store or anywhere else, you, if you purchase it, I get a commission on it. So, if, uh, if you wanted to do that, that would be awesome because it would really, it would help me out. You don't have to, just letting you know that if you go to Amazon through my store, I get commissions on anything that you buy. Um, it's, to, me, to me, it would be really, really helpful because it's a way of supporting the, my, um, my platform without actually having to like do a subscription or, or anything like that. I mean, if you're going to buy it anyway, if you go through my store, it's just going to help me out. So I just wanted to let you know that because again, sometimes I, I'm not really very comfortable sometimes being like, um, being like, Hey, can you do this? Cause I really need it. But I mean, my, my platform, I, when I first started this whole social media journey, I was getting paid on TikTok, Instagram, Poshmark. Um, I hadn't been monetized yet on YouTube, but I had all sorts of streams of income and they have all just about gone away except for YouTube and Amazon. So anything you could do to help would be great. Okay. Um, Tiggy says, that he, um, do you have an update on Courtney? Yes. I, I, I text her all the time. She's not here yet. She was feeling really good yesterday. Um, I don't know if they've gotten the results. Hopefully she will tell me that, but I've been keeping tabs on her every day, just reaching out to her, um, just to make sure she's okay. And just to let her know that we always think of her. And I know that, um, she comes on when she's feeling good and, and she doesn't have any pressure to come on when she doesn't. I just, you know, I just, um, appreciate her presence when she's here and, um, ooh, heavy glom. Hi, sorry, I'm late. Happy to be here. Well, I am glad you are here. Welcome to our little community. We absolutely support and love each other. And I am very happy you are here. And right now we're talking about Amazon Prime Day. And I am, we're going to take a look at some things because I did find um, some items. Now I'm looking here at this video that I did earlier and uh, it's so weird. It's so hard to get the lighting correct in here sometimes, but 
this is everything that I showed on my live and let me show you what I did. So first thing we're going to take a look at, hold on here. Mm -hmm. I'm coming back. I'm coming back. Okay. So I figured out finally what the difference is between retinol and retinol. I'm telling you, this kills me. All right, there's two different kinds of skin cares. There's retinol and then there's retinol. And I know I just said that, but I'm gonna say it again. What it is, is one is spelled R-E-T-I-N-O-L, retinol. And then one is spelled R-E-T-I-N-A-L, retinol. So, and it kills me. It, it, if whoever was responsible for naming these things needed to kind of just make it a little bit more clear cut. I mean, it would be really good to be like, before you have wrinkles, after you have wrinkles. I mean, to me, that's clear cut. And you're not saying something that I already don't know. I already know I have fine lines and wrinkles, so I would use this one. You know what, you're out there and you're 30 and you're like, I don't have wrinkles yet, but I wanna give my skin as much um, help as I can, then you would be this one. Why, why, why? Why would you name two things so closely together, but you're just going to change one letter? If you're out there, Murad, I don't know if this is you or whoever came up with these names in the first place, but you got to just make it a little bit more clear cut. So what we're going to do is the first one we're taking a look at, this is an actual, um, this one is on a Prime Day deal, and this one is, do, 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 hold on here. And this one is the Murad, it's um, Retinol Youth Renewal Serum. Now, this is not as heavy as this one, because this is an overnight retinol cream. This is a retinol serum and regularly it's $88 and for prime day deals it's $64.40 and if you want to try a Murad product um, you know what I like their products I'm not going to show you something that I'm like mm, just buy it because it's on sale I really really honestly through the bottom of my heart do like their products I have seen some um, I've seen some transition in using them. Now, I try to use a lot of different products just so I can give you a lot of different um, recommendations. But if you're out there and you don't really have the real, you know, the fine lines and the wrinkles, but you want to have a serum in your routine to prevent it, I'm going to say that this one right here is a good serum to do. It's the retinol with an O and it's going to help you prevent them. Pretty simple, right? Yeah, following along, great. Now the next one that I'm gonna be showing you about is this is the Murad Resurgence. Now this one is not on a Prime Day deal, and this one's a little bit more expensive, but let me pull it up. And I have been using this one at night and here we go okay i love my technology now this one is 105 dollars, but this is what i have been putting on my neck at night now this is the retinol with an a so what this is this one is going to be stronger than this one and I put this on my neck because I want to get as much repair done on my neck. So in theory, this is going to prevent the fine lines and wrinkles. This is going to help get rid of the fine lines and wrinkles. Because what it does, what this retinol does, is it goes in and it tricks your skin. And it tells your skin that there's like a damage, like, you know, like a burn or, or just something like that. So your body's like, hey guys, we need to go make some more collagen over here. Your, this needs help. So all your little collagen's like, oh, I'm coming. And it's, it, it's, it, in theory, fixes your neck, it fixes your collagen, and it makes your neck look not 
as wrinkly. And I was very skeptical. I was like, hmm, I don't know. I doubt it. I doubt if that's going to do anything. But I'm going to tell you, I was pleasantly surprised. And I, Kathy, good morning. Um, I was pleasantly, I'm pleasantly surprised with the result. Not that my neck is instantly like looking like a 20 year old, but I have noticed some difference. Now, I'm not going to tell you, um, I'm not going to ever, 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 ever tell you like this is magic in a bottle and it's going to work for everybody. But I am going to tell you, it's been really good for me. Tiggy says the most important aspect is to do it daily and keep using it. Yes. Now I only use this at night because it says right here, overnight treatment because it's pretty intense. I have not had any sort of burning or irritation with this, but what I do is I go pump, pump, I pump it out, I put it on my neck, and then whatever's left over on my fingers, then I will put on my face where I think it's at. I'm, I use this, you know, I, I wouldn't say sparingly, but I by no means am like, you know, overnight treatment for all and put it everywhere on my face. Because for one thing, you want to make sure that you don't put this near your eyes. I made a mistake the other day and I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you the product that I did, but it's, um, it wasn't very fun. So those are, that's one of the things that's on the prime day deal. And that's another one that I keep on using. Now let's find something else here. All right. So another thing that, <laughs> okay, now. This one's pretty cool. This one is on sale for Prime Day and this one I'm going to show you. This right here is the vitamin, um, vitamin C glycolic serum. Now, when I was doing my little live on Amazon, I'm like, and I couldn't say it. And I'm like, y'all know, you know, the more you listen to me, the more you're going to know, I can't pronounce half the words I try to say. So get over it. You know what it is. It's like I call it serum there. I said it. This one has a prime day deal. Originally $80. It's on sale for $61.60. Now what this is going to do, this one is going to help brighten your skin. So if your skin is dull or if yeah, if your skin is dull, there's no or to that one. If you have dull skin, this is going to brighten it up. This is the one that I made the mistake and put it on my eyes because I, in my infinite wisdom, was like, well, if my face is going to be bright, I want my whole face to be bright. So I was putting it on my face and I was putting it like right here on my eyes in you. <laughs> That is not what you're supposed to do. I actually gave myself a little burn. And then, because I try to justify everything I do, I'm like, well, at least they know it works because I could feel it like not feeling very good on my eyes. So this is a great product for your face. Again, it's going to brighten it up. And what it's going to do and what I would do is I would use it underneath your your moisturizer either in the morning or at night. I personally would not use this twice a day just for the simple fact that it is rather strong and I wouldn't want you um, to give yourself like any burning sensation, but this will brighten your face. Now, another thing that I have that I wanna show you about that's on a prime day deal is this next one here. This one, Oops. This one, oops, is also two on sale. Another Murad product. And this one is the Rapid Dark Spot Correcting Serum. It does work. I know it works because I tested it out. And here's the kicker, and here is the the little asterisk that I'm going to put with this one. If you start on a routine using something like this, whether it's this one or something else, but you have dark spots and you start to use a dark spot remover, just know it's going to get darker before it gets lighter. 
it, I did not realize that. And I started using it. And I'm like, why is this spot getting darker? I just made my dark spot darker. I wanted to get rid of it. Why is it darker? And my esthetician was like, whoa, 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 relax, Lonnie. It's supposed to get darker before it gets lighter because what it's doing is it's pulling the pigment out and it makes it darker and then it starts to lighten up. So depending on what your skin type is and depending on what you are looking for, you know, it's, it's a great product and it does work. And one thing about skincare that I, I really want to make, I, I really want to bring this up to you and it's really super important is that we need to realize that one, one size does not fit all. That's what I'm trying to say. And I personally find myself getting caught up in like um, an advertisement that's like, this is going to make your skin look better. And I'm like, done. Because you know what? I, while I don't, um, while I, I, I like my age, but I just don't want to look older than I need to. And I want to give my skin as many tools as possible in order to be able to fight off the aging. So I'm like, sold. That's it. Oops, I forgot to bring you back. Oh no, I forgot to bring you back. Hold on. Well, there, there you go. There was my screen. There was everything there for a while. I forgot to push a button. But anyway, so that is that's what I do. And that's what I was very guilty of. I was very guilty of just being like, well, it's supposed to make my skin look better. So I'm going to buy it. Not realizing that it might not, I might not need what it's selling. All right. So I've already said, like, if you have dull skin, you need something to brighten it. If you have dark spots, you need something to lighten it. If you have um, fine lines and wrinkles, or if you have dry skin, you need something to moisturize it. So I think it's really important for us, especially as women, because you know what? The beauty industry, the skincare industry is just off the, it's off the board. I mean, it is amazing how, oops, hold on here. It is amazing how it's a huge industry. It's a huge industry because we keep on buying new things and we keep on buying new things, you know, sometimes with not putting enough of a like, is this meant for me kind of philosophy into it. So it's really important, like anytime I show you a product that you try to figure out, is this what's best for me? Do I need help in that area? And whatever it is, if you need help in it, uh, hopefully I can find it and I will show it to you. Now, getting away from the skincare, I do want to show you, I found this on Prime and I thought it was a great deal and I absolutely love, um, it's called uh, Court Shoes. These are my... Let me show you. Okay. These right here. I found these and I really like them, but let me find the ones that are on Prime. Where did you go? Hmm. Okay. Hold on. I want to find the Prime ones. Prime Day Deal. Ooh. Let's look at these. I guess I'll show you what I'm looking at because. I really like, oh, uh, I have to show you. They didn't show me, Lonnie, stop talking about it. I have been looking for these all over the place. Now, these are men's, so, oh, Adidas men's. I wonder, because I want these, but I can't find them in women's. So, and right now, let's just say six and a half. I think that that's currently unavailable. Great. All right. Well, let me show you something else because they, I did find a pair of Adidas ones, Prime Day Deal. And so we will look. Let me show you what I'm looking at. So this is the page right here that talks about all the Prime Day deals. 
And you can get some Ugg Fluffyette slippers that are 25% off, which is pretty cool. I like Uggs. Let's see what they're all about. So these are buzzworthy deals. So they're 27% off. They were originally $79.90. And you can get them in this cute little pink color because you know the Barbie movie's out. And these are cute. Um, I don't need a pair of slippers, but these are definitely cute. And you can get... Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You can get a toothbrush. I actually... Um, they have this toothbrush on sale. And let me show you this one because if you are looking for a toothbrush, I wanna show you which one I showed them. Because why, Lonnie? Well, I'm gonna tell you why. Because as you all know, I am a recovering addict. And what I did, unfortunately, was um, I did not take care of my teeth very well very, you know, I'm not proud of the fact, but it's the truth. And my, um, can't go there. And my gums really paid the price. And I've been sober now for what, like eight years. And for eight years, I have been working diligently on my gums. And I love my automatic toothbrush because if you don't, if you're not careful, you can actually do some damage to your gums with your toothbrush. And I've been using this automatic toothbrush now for, gosh, probably like uh, almost two years. And it's on sale for 50% off. So if you're out there and you're like, oh my gosh, I needed a toothbrush and Lonnie says this is good and it works good on her gums. I'm going to get a toothbrush on the Prime Day deal for 50% off. There you go. It was originally $200 and I got it for $99. And it comes in different colors. You can get the black one like I have or you can get like a really pretty like blue one, which in hindsight, I'd probably take the blue one because the black one, it's... Um, I don't know. I think blue's pretty. But those are some really cool um, Prime Day deals that I found for makeup and skincare. You know, skincare, skincare can, it, it's just, I don't, it, it's something that we need to do, but we need to do it in a manner that works for us. Now, if you're out there and you're like, you know what, Lonnie, I don't want to spend $105 on um on something like that then what you need to do is eat a banana every day and rub the peel on your face i was thinking about that today when i got um when i was getting ready i'm like yeah you know it's like the good old banana in the tailpipe thing that's still a really good thing to put on your face and I cannot say it enough, but it's really important for you to figure out what works best for you. And that's what you need to do. 110%. One, just do it, do it, do it. So that's what I did today. And I am going to, again, it's super hot. Not, not really humid today, but I can tell that it's going to be a little bit more humid than yesterday because as I was sitting here, I could see the clouds kind of going in and out. And I'm like, yeah, if, if it turns humid, this is not going to be fun. So let me look at something really quick. And Indy's fine. She threw up yesterday during our live. And I, the darn dog eats everything. So but she wasn't sick sick and so she is fine so i just wanted to give you an update on her and then why did i do that why 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 so what i want to do oh look it says i'm live i'm on youtube and it's prime day skincare skincare deals that's me oh that is me so let's see here mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So has anybody, has anybody bought a um, Powerball ticket? Because I can't, I, I can't, I can't buy a, a lotto ticket because a part of my addiction is gambling. So I cannot, um, I, I can't, I can't buy a ticket. And so if you're out there and can you just buy one? buy one for me and uh if you win 
just good for you, but I can't buy them because it's too close to my gambling addiction and I just don't want to. Look at it, I'm turning all red. And I'm just like, nope, can't do it, won't do it. But go out there, get one. You never know, you might win. And if you buy one and you get it and you just be like, you know what? Lonnie told me to buy it, so I'll give her part of my like $50 billion. That would be great. And so, because what I'm doing right now is I'm kind of just looking here, just seeing what, what's kind of like happening in the world. Because there's always so much happening in the world. But the Powerball thing is all over everywhere. So it's probably a good thing that you, you go out and get yourself a ticket. Because I, again, you know what? If I can't buy one, that doesn't mean you can't. So let's see what else we got going on. Hold on, let me get you back here. So yeah, it's gonna be hot, I got things to do. I really do appreciate you all. I appreciate you taking the time to try to help me figure out what it is that I'm supposed to wear. And I just really like to share my goods, my bads, my ups and my downs with you. And I know, um, might as well throw the money in the ground. Okay, Tiggy, now, you, I'm just talking about one dollar. I and I know, and that's just the whole thing. It's like the they always say, well, you can't um, you can't win if you don't if you don't play. Um, April, you are late. I was wondering where in the heck you were. So let's see here. Kathy says, just tried the Elf No Budge Shadow Stick instead of powder eyeshadow. The powder ones always make my eye sore. Elf Stick No Soreness Result. That's a really cool tip. I love, I love the fact that you shared that because I know for me, um, if, if I don't wear a primer, the powder shadow just kind of goes off. What I have today is I got that e.l.f. glitter um, liquid eyeshadow and I put it on as a base. And then on top of that, I just put different color, um, kind of like a rose beige on top. And I always do that though. I never just wear one of anything. I never wear one shade of lipstick. I never wear one shade of eyeshadow because I like to just build and I'll put on a base and then I just keep building until I like the final result. And once I do that, then I'm like, okay, I'm done. That's good. I, I'm satisfied with that. And I think e.l.f. is amazing. It is just, you know, it, it's one of those products that uh, it's, and I always say it, but it's vegan, it's cruelty free. And it's one of those products that it gives you the opportunity to try new things. Because I was going back through my makeup and because I wanted to, to talk to you about some of the stuff today, but what? But I wanted just to, hold on here, I gotta get caught up for some. Okay, because if I like to experiment, I just told you, I like to put things in layers. I like to try different things. But here's the thought. It's the stream current bit rate is higher than the recommended. Oh, okay. Okay, I, I have to change the setting for next time. But it's, I don't want to spend 70 bucks and then experiment on something. And e.l.f. being that the amount that it is, is absolutely perfect because I can try it. If I don't like it, then you know what? I'm out $5 instead of like $50 because some of that makeup out there is pretty darned expensive. Not that it's bad. I mean, if you can afford it, great. If you can't, then try some e.l.f. products because I think that they are very good at what we want. Um, what was I going to, oh gosh, you know what? What was I going to say? I got to tell you, it's just been one of those mornings and, oh, that's what I was going to say. I like to be realistic with you. And one of the things that I want to be realistic to you about is I posted um, this week's podcast and truthfully, you know what? It didn't really shine the, the brightest light on Robert. And here's the thing. And I love everybody and I really appreciate all the comments of how it's hard watching somebody you like struggle, and I, I have a hard time sometimes communicating with Robert. 
But what I always try to keep in mind is that Robert is the victim in this story. Robert is the child who grew up with the alcoholic mother. And my one and only gift I can give my children is to be um, completely authentic with them now. And when I was drinking and when they were children, it was very selfish of me because they were not heard. They were not seen. They, it was a horrible existence for them. So in our recovery, in our rebuilding of our relationship, if sometimes if they're not as kind as I would want, it's not, it's, it's perfectly okay because their recovery is their recovery and I have to do it at their, at their, at their pace and what they're comfortable with. So I did think, I thought three or four times about posting that just because it wasn't the most favorable. Um, it wasn't a very, up, it wasn't, a, it wasn't a fun episode to record. But I put it out there because it, it was a true and authentic look at the rebuilding of relationships. And yes, if I had a magic wand, I would be like, Boop, and I would, um, hey, there's Courtney, we were worried about you. But if I had a magic wand, I would make everything better, but I don't. So the again, the only, the only gift I can give is that of um is that of patience and understanding kindness and love and that's exactly what um and that's exactly what i have to do and that's exactly what i do do so um if if you saw that episode and you were wondering you know like again like gosh he's not being very nice it's perfectly fine you know what he's allowed to not be nice and he's allowed to be upset and he's allowed to have hurt feelings and he's allowed to be um, careful of his own feelings because I, as a child of an alcoholic, I know how incredibly painful it is. It is so painful to look at a parent and be like, why are you doing this? Will you please stop? And having it just bounce off like, like you're not even there. So I, I, I won't say fortunately, I won't say fortunately, I understand what he's talking about. But I think by me having that experience of having my own parent who was an alcoholic in an abusive, re, you know, family, I can have that compassion for him that maybe otherwise I wouldn't have, because I can empathize with him and his feelings. So I wanted to talk about that just for that particular reason. Because again, it's like, I'm really proud of our relationship and how far we've come because there's, there's, we have made such a huge stride. I mean, it was really funny. And the reason, not really funny, like, haha, this is funny, but kind of ironic is the reason that we started, um, we started counseling in the first place is because we were in this this repetitive cycle of miscommunication just over and over and over again. You know, Brandon um, was easily triggered. Robert was snarky and sarcastic and I got my feelings hurt. And every time all three of us got together, we all assumed our roles and that's exactly what we did. So what our counseling has done is it's been able for us to step out of these roles and assume new ones. And the role that I'm assuming is the role of the parent. And as the parent, I have to look at the needs of my children before me. And as, my, as a parent, I'm the one who's like, you know what, your feelings, your thoughts, your emotions are more important than mine at this moment, because that's what I should have done when they were children. When they were children, we we're like, you know what, I'm going to emotionally support you. I'm going to help you through these difficult times. And I'm trying to do that to an adult. So as an adult, it looks like, why, why are you getting this kind of pushback back? And it's because he never I, I never taught him how to do that as a child. So that is just the backstory as to the whole kind of like 
the, the breakdown of that whole episode. And looking back at it, you know what? It was a painful episode, and but I want it to be real. And I am like the next week when it's my turn. This this coming turn is um, is a is Robert's turn. But the next time I'm going to do something fun. I'm going to be like 10, 10 ways to know you're happy, or you know, ten cute puppies. And I just I'm really going to try to change that energy of constantly like almost like ripping the band-aid off over and over and over again. I mean, we know the steps. Now it's just going to be up to us to actually do it. Courtney says, Lonnie, you're a great mom. You know what, Courtney? I appreciate that. I think I'm a mom in training. And here's the thing. And, and if you, again, if you listen to the episode, you'll understand what I'm talking about. But sometimes I think the path of good intentions is the wrong path. And I say that because when I got sober, I was like, okay, I'm sober now. We are good. This is how we're going to be as a family. And I wasn't, I wasn't listening to what they needed. And I was taking my sobriety and I was like, yeah, this is what's going to happen. And that was just it. And I say over and over and over again, well, I'm trying, you know, I, I'm trying to do this and I'm trying to do that, or I didn't mean to hurt your feelings, or I didn't mean to not listen to you. And that's just all good intentions. But at the end of the day, feelings are still getting hurt. And I found myself really falling back a lot on my good intentions. You know, I would do something and they'd be like, oh, well, you just totally overstepped your boundaries. And in my mind, I'd be like, well, I just, I didn't mean it that way. Um, you know what? You're just trying, so it's okay. And by keeping those good intentions, I was not listening to the words that needed to be heard. So I have really taken upon myself to be like, yeah, you know what? You might have good intentions, Lonnie, but actions are more important than intentions. So I am at this point in my recovery and in my rebuilding of of communication, I'm taking it one step farther and I'm concentrating on my actions instead of my intentions. And it's really cool because I can see the growth. I can see the growth from, you know, not knowing where to go, not knowing how to even start to being like, okay, this is how I started. And then it came over here and now I went to good intentions and now good intentions aren't going to be good enough anymore. So now I'm at action. And it's been a really cool journey that I am really proud of. And sometimes it sounds like I might be a little hard on myself, you know, a little harsh, but it's, it's not without love. I have a lot of compassion for myself. I have a lot of like, I know what I've been through. I know my journeys. I know from what depth I have crawled out to, to become today. And I see all that and I'm very compassionate about that, but that doesn't mean that I don't want to grow more. And that doesn't mean that I don't want to experience new things and be even a better version of who I am today. And I think like, just like yesterday when I was saying like, you know, from the movie World War Z, movement is life. And I want to continue on that movement to go forward in being the best person I can be. And if I concentrate on being the best person I can be and not trying to shove this great motherness down their throats, they're going to just be able to relax and be like, okay, yeah, no, she's, she's doing what she's saying. And that is where I'm concentrating right now. And just like skincare and just like everything else, um, it, it's not one size fits all, but I definitely have found my path and my version of where I need to go. And I'm pretty darned excited about that. And it's, it's been a fun episode. And, you know, the Prime Day deals, you know, either love them or, or, or not. It's just, um, it's, it's, there are some good things out there. And um, again, if you shop on Amazon and you want to just go through my, my store and shop on Amazon, I actually get commissions on whatever you buy. And it will help me in the long run finance what I do and be here with you every single day. And like I said, I, I'm not, 
I'm never very good at being like, click on this link and buy this. And then that way I get a commission. I'm not good at that. But I am saying that if you do shop on Amazon and you want to go through my store, I wouldn't be disappointed in that. You know, that's just the way it is. All right, I got to go and put on my correct outfit. Go do my last filming. We, Terry, I am sorry. I did not buzz my hair today. I am doing it tomorrow. I did not want those particles on my face. And tomorrow, um, I did get a warning from the streamer that I got a... I got a setting that's not quite right. So if it looks a little wonky on your end, I'll be having that fixed tomorrow. See, intentions, uh, good intentions aren't going to cut it. I have to have better actions and have better video for you. So this is, this is trans, it translates through my entire life. And that is it. So until tomorrow, remember, be bright, be bold, be brave. I'll be back. We'll be buzzing. And then we're looking at some free people fall fashion. And on top of that, I'm going to try to find some items um, at different price points that have the same kind of vibe and the, um, and the same kind of um, vibe. Uh, Courtney says, I'm going to go buy that hydraulic acid on your page. Which one? What brand? So um, I do... I do have to run Courtney, but are, are you getting the elf one? Or are you getting the Murad one? Which one are you getting? I'll stay on here until you tell me because I want to know which one you're getting. Um, have a smooth day, everyone. April, you are so smooth. You're just too cool for words. That's all I got to say. So I'm waiting for Courtney. Sometimes life saves the best for last. Yeah, you know what? And I absolutely agree about that. And, and truthfully, I know, I, I mean, I... I see other people, um, <laughs> Courtney says, hang on. So I see other people struggling in very many different forms and fashions of their life. And you know what? And sometimes we never, I'm just glad I was able to push that pause. And I'm glad that I was able to just be like, you know what, Lonnie, this life is not okay for you. And for that, I am extremely grateful. So, um, yeah, Courtney said, or Kara says, feel well, Courtney. So, you know what? And that's just the thing about Courtney. She gets sick. If she's late, she's late. We still love her. The Vichy one. Okay, I'm going to take a look at that and then I'll text you because uh, I want, yeah. So I'll take a look at that. Um, so anyway, that's it. She answered my question. Remember, if, it's, if you're going to go shopping on Amazon, you can find my store in my link tree that's in my description down below. All right, everyone, have a great day. Stay cool, be safe. I know the weather's a little cuckoo for cocoa puffs everywhere, but I will see you tomorrow and I love you dearly. Bye everyone.